Okie dokie. Well, hi everybody, and uh, time for another Jump to War video. And this time around, um, the main purpose on this one here is just, it's mainly from my Final Fantasy XIV blog. Um, I just find it easier to just make a video about this and then upload it than have to sit here and practically type out this huge essay on the things I did today during my stream. So, but anyway, and also in the background, um, I'm going to have some uh, dark ambient music going. It's a live stream. And hopefully it doesn't cut out on me like it was doing like all during my stream. I had to go to, um, I had to get, I had to grab music from uh, Amazon Prime to kind of fill in the gap because I don't, don't care to hear the in-game music, nor do I care to hear Total Silence either. So, so I'll be having that running. Do a little brief sound test here. Okay, so anyway, um, but the event. Figured to be in there, but apparently not. So, for the next two days, uh, today, Wednesday, and Thursday, there's going to be a new event called Treasure Vault. Okay, let me turn that down a bit. So, yeah, it, it's called Treasure Vault. And, um, and for those that, and uh, kind of, the way this works in this game here, every so often, usually it's a really rare chance that in any battle, any battle you're in, a gnome will appear in that group. Uh, depending on which gnome it is, uh, killing him will will net you a, a whole bunch of a certain amount of resource. Depending on which gnome jumped in, like there's, I think mean, there's a there's a treasure gnome. Killing him will give you a bunch of gold. Uh, there's a glory gnome. Killing him, or I should say, killing her will give you a bunch of glory. Um, but in each one. Each one of them is tied to a certain resource. Killing that particular gnome gives you a bunch of a certain kind. So, and I, I guess I could probably go over here. Yeah, and um, and they also have an incre increased likelihood of dropping vault keys, and even rare epic vault keys. So, and um. I'm, I'm, well, to start with, I'll kind of do a quick demo, but, so, I'll, no, you don't, hang on, I gotta grab my controller real quick, so, what I've been doing for all, throughout most of the stream, is, uh, the explore mode, and for those that don't know, um, the Explore minigame, it kind of works the same way that uh, the Torment levels work in uh, Diablo 3. You just pick which difficulty you want. The higher the difficulty, the harder the monsters, obviously, but it also gets you uh, it also gets you more loot, though, as well. So, But aside from that, generally speaking, as far as drop rates, drop rates are, for the most part, consistent. You're... They're the same no matter which kind of content you do. So, is it just me or is it loud? Okay, I gotta, I gotta turn it down a little bit from my end. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let me, let me kind of do a little demo here. Nope. But right now, this is just a little plain Jane battle. And I came in with the wrong group. So let me go ahead and bail out of this. And let me... Come on. Let me drop in the right group. Okay, but... um. So the way that this works... Hit all epi. Thorns kills everything in one hit, you know, quick and easy. And again, for the most part, there's exceptions here and there, but for the most part, um, drop rates are are the same, are the same no matter which content you do. So, but this is what I've been doing uh, 
draw out a good chunk of my stream. Just. So, it, there we go. We got a glory gnome. But like I said, in every so often in these battles, a gnome will appear. Like, this is a glory gnome. So, when you defeat her, you'll get a bunch of, um, you'll get a bunch of glory currency. And there's 1,000 glory. And sometimes, uh, with these, you'll also get vault keys. Um, and also once in a while, they'll drop, um, in fact, let me... Let me bail out of this, and I'll go ahead and show you. They are called Noma Palooza, and um, you, uh, I don't, I don't know if there's a, I think there's a one specific gnome that drops these, but I need a, I need a note three, and when you get it. For the next 15 minutes, all your battles will be nothing but gnomes. So, this is when, um, during that 15 minute period of time, I, I'm not going to be interacting with anybody. Or if I do, it's going to be, uh, totally unfocused. Because you got to cram in as many battles as you can in that 15 minute period. And this is also, uh, if you have a controller with this game, it'll greatly benefit this. Because I'm, I'm a, you're a hell of a lot faster on a controller than you would be with a mouse and keyboard. I mean, I guess while I'm, while I'm here, one, one reason why is, uh, no matter, um, if you want to cast a spell, you have to move the mouse all the way over here to this green bar and click it. So if you're up here clicking this guy, you gotta go all the way down here and click this. Then you go all the way up here, click that. Then go down and click this, and then so on and so forth. You can't, you can't just double, you can't just double click them or anything like that. See, you can't even double click it. Yeah, and there is no. There's no hotkeys or anything that you can use, so so that gets very tedious after a while. Click, 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 click. So now my pattern with this is I'll do a whole bunch of these difficulty one ones, but in order to break up the monotony of doing so many of these, I'll do a difficulty 12 one, or I'll go do some PvP or something. So I do take breaks from this. Like I said, there's no no waiting around. You just you just push through all the uh, all the menus and cutscenes and whatnot. You skip all that. And I guess while I'm here, I could probably show you off. Some of you guys might be familiar with this, but again, I'm mainly I'm mainly addressing the the Final Fantasy XIV community, the ones that uh, check out my blogs. So they they probably never played this game before. I don't really have time to explain the basics of it or anything, but just to give you a rundown is uh, how this group works. We got uh, we got old Leppy here. The big one's the bottom. He starts every battle with full mana. And he explodes 12 green gems, boosted by my gold. So, but... He'll blow the board. In this case, not very much of it. And then there's her. 
deal 31 scatter damage, which means that the that number there is evenly, or I should say, the number on the right boost. That's really what you want to look for. It's gonna deal 151 if my math is correct. 151 damage, um, randomly split up between the entire crew. Ta-da! There we go. Um, and I believe it's this guy here, Freddy Fet, Freddy Fret Fiddler. Damn, that's a tongue twister. Um, if he's uh, I believe he's the one that drops the uh, musical notes. But again, let me let me keep going. Blow the board. Oh, and uh, this guy here. Some of you that have seen my other other videos are gonna be familiar with this one, the Mirage Queen. But the big one with her, all the elemental allies start with 50% mana, so they can get filled up quicker. Um, my 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 hero's class is elementalist, so he's an elemental, or that makes him an elemental, excuse me. And then there's this here. In case uh, in case her ability didn't work, I would have uh, my hero's ability, those black manacles, as a backup. Nope, not the one I'm looking for. But anyway, um, that's pretty much how it works. Uh, again, today, tomorrow, and Thursday, um, I'm gonna be doing this. Uh, gonna be doing this quite a bit. And um, normally, uh, Tuesdays are my pinball days. But I wanted to at least record a one-hour session and just upload that. But there's a. I'm also thinking about just going ahead and giving it a miss. And just focusing entirely on this. Because this particular event here, if I'm guessing correctly, only comes once, maybe twice a year. I mean, I can play, I mean, I could, I mean, I could play pinball anytime. So, I mean, I always have that option, but with something like this, this is going to kind of take, uh, kind of take precedence over that. But like I said, I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. I mean, I'm still working on my blog post. So, I just wanted to show this. It's going to save me a ton of time in the future. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. But, as I was saying with this one, elemental start with 50% mana. She's an elemental, so she's, you know, she gets that boost. My main character here is also an elemental, an elemental, because he's an elementalist class. And then there's this here. I was trying to say this earlier. I have this as a backup. Like, maybe if for some reason, her ability, she didn't get enough mana for this ability. Maybe he did for his, so. Um, there's act, and there's actually a better build for this. Um, it involves a, it involves a card called Iron Hawk, but um, it's also it's, I believe you can only craft it, and come on, come on, controller. Hang on, my controller is fucking up right now, so I gotta unplug it. Going wireless. There we go. Okay, so, so I'll just go ahead and call it good there. Like I said, um, I'm I mainly made this video as a time saver for my blog, so, but, yeah, so I just wanted to demonstrate that. Um, but thanks for uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.